men, 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 that was great. That's hot. All right. Woo! Hey, you see you. Welcome to the Man Show. I'm Scotty, and this is Jordan. And today we got three stories on four of the most manly people you'll ever meet in your issue career. So, Scotty, what did you have for breakfast this morning? Uh, you know the usual nails and bullets. So, without milk. Wow, that's pretty manly. Anyways, let's get on to our first story. Chris went out and got the story on two manly guys who achieved their goals. Choosing a college is one of the hardest choices that a student makes. For Andrew Mikulski and Eric Lisi, they set their dreams high, attending the United States Air Force Academy. The summer before my freshman year of high school, I went there for the first time and just kind of decided that that's where I wanted to, to go. I think when I knew Air Force was probably my number one school was when I visited there after sophomore year during the summer. Both Andrew and Eric completed hours and hours of paperwork, interviews with congressmen, and physical training. All this leading up to one phone call. Mike and I were at Hollywood Studios at Disney World. We listened to the voicemail, and it was John Klein's office. A whole year of work to watch him achieve his dream was priceless. The surprise for Andrew was even more special. During one of our team meetings, Coach Stry announced that I had gotten in and just the support that I received from my teammates because they all knew that it was kind of my dream school. As for Eric, uh, they called me at my house and just kind of straight out told me, congratulations, you got an appointment to the Air Force Academy. I just did it. I finally got what I've been working for for probably 10 years. With their dreams accomplished, there are still nerves and fears as they prepare to report on June 26th. However, they are not alone. There are a lot of people there who um, will ensure each other's success, and I think they'll do a great job with each other there. Reporting for The Flash, this is Chris Casey. One more, one more. Ah, ooh, no. All right, yeah, this show. Thanks, Chris, for that totally ripped story on Andrew. He's going to get so shredded in the Air Force. You know who else is pretty ripped? Me. I'm like one massive muscle. <laughs> no, dude. You're not nearly as ripped as Davis Arbor Gas. That man-child is basically a walking tank. Wait, is he as ripped as us? Mm, even more so. Johnny got us the story on Davis Arbor Gas and his unnoticed achievements. Eastview High School is a school loaded with talent from top to bottom. Set aside the notion that Eastview is focused on major team sports, dance, football, soccer, and if you dig beneath the surface a little more, it's quite amazing what you find. One student who embodies this idea is senior Davis Arbergast. Um, at Eastview, I was a I was state champion in Science Olympiad for the forensics category this year. I've been involved in the marching band for the past four years, two of which we've gone to a super regional tournament, which is pretty much our equivalent of like Midwest nationals of sorts. And actually, as of this year, I'm a competition bodybuilder in the physique class, and I'll be competing on the 31st of May at my first uh, invitational. Things that typically get noticed at ECU are those that are more popular and more in the student knowledge, such as any major sports teams, any performing arts, things of that nature. A lack of recognition hasn't stopped Davis from doing what he loves. Uh, today what I'm trying to do is for the 148 pound weight class, looking to break the bench press record. As Davis works towards his next goal, breaking the bench press record for his weight class, he realizes there are more students at Eastview who could use just a little bit of recognition. The school may not notice, may not even care about what you do. It doesn't matter what they think, it's what you think about what you're doing. If what you're doing is important to you, nobody else should be able to tell you not to do that because you're doing what you love. Is it fair to get on people for not recognizing things they've never heard of? Absolutely not. But this is a call to dig a little deeper. Signing off for The Flash, this is Johnny. Whoa, I didn't even know that about Davis. Well, I did. I also know a couple other special students here at Eastview. Really? Yeah. Like who? Scotty got the 411 out of Eastview is full of academic scholars. Our very own Igadosa has received one of the most prestigious scholarships in the entire nation.
So I received the Gates Millennium Scholarship. So basically what it is essentially, it is a full ride to any institution of your choice um, for undergrad and it also helps you with grad fee tuition. Um, well, I'm going to the U of M Twin Cities and I plan to pursue a pre-med program because I want to become a pediatrician. And so the scholarship will help. Even with his future plans in place, Iggy's positivity and humility is remarkable. Well, I, I actually couldn't believe it <laughs> at first. I kind of uh, walked through the like, rest of the week. I was on cloud nine, but I still couldn't, I, I couldn't fathom. I was like, I got this scholarship. So um, I'm very thankful for the scholarship. And I thank God, I thank my mom. I thank everyone that was able to make this possible. If you see Iggy in the hallways, be sure to congratulate him on this tremendous accomplishment. Signing off for The Flash, this is Scotty. Whoa, that story was out of the park. Hey Buck, what's a man card? Don't worry, you got yours revoked. What? Why? Stay tuned for the credits, East you. Bye! Yeah! Ah! Ah! Hey, East you. A lot of you little boys out there that go to the school are wondering why you're losing your man card. Well, I got the five reasons why. Reason one, if you're wondering what a man card is, guess what? You just lost your man card. Taking mirror selfies, dude? Man card, revoked. <laughs> Did you just subtweet me, dude? What? I'm no. right here. No! Man card revokes for subtweeting, dude. No! I didn't do it! It was Ferris! Oh, you just subtweet me? No! No! <laughs> Um, should I get Lay's or I'll get a Nutri Game bar? It's healthy. Mm, let's see. Attempting to count calories or go on a diet? Man card, we vote. Who are you? I should go with the Nutri Game bar, right? Okay, I'm gonna go with the. Yo, what's up, babe? I have plans with the boys. It's cool, I'll ditch them for you, babe. What? Really? Ah. Ditching your bros for a date night? Man card revoked. Dude, seriously, who are you?